Okay, in this video I'll be discussing the importance of headlines and how to write a compelling headline for your articles. Advertising legend David Ogilvy knew the power of headlines and how the headline literally determined whether the story would get read or not. He rewrote this famous headline for an automobile advertisement 104 times. At 60 miles an hour, the only thing you hear in a new Rolls Royce is the ticking of the dashboard clock. We're not necessarily in the advertising business, but writing compelling headlines is still an important part of our responsibility. And although there is much to learn about the topic of headlines, I'll try to do my best to cover a lot of ground with a few easy to remember rules. The first is the 50-50 rule. This is to spend half the time it takes to write your article on the headline itself. According to some of the best copywriters of all time, you should spend half the time it takes to write a piece of persuasive content on the headline. So if you have an article that's really important to you, one that you really want people to read, you should downright obsess over your headline. The next is the 80-20 rule of headlines. On average, 8 out of 10 people will read a headline, but only 2 out of 10 will actually read the rest of the article. This is the secret to the power of headline, and why it so highly determines the effectiveness of the entire article. The better the headline, the better your odds of beating these averages and getting your article read by more people. Another good rule of thumb that I often use myself is to write 25 variations of a headline and then ask someone that you trust which is the most compelling. I know that this may seem like useless busy work, but you'd be surprised what gems come out of the woodwork when you force yourself to be creative in order to get to the last few on paper. In fact, I would say that half of my chosen headlines came between 20 and 25 from my list order. Here are a few more basic rules of headlines. Number one, don't give the full story away in the headline. Example, after 28 years, Acme.com goes out of business. Versus, see which veteran tech company falls after 28 years. Rule number two, don't be judgmental. Allow people to form their own opinions. Example, same-sex marriage still on hold in the knucklehead state of Utah obviously a little judgmental versus see which states are still fighting same-sex marriage laws three don't bum people out emotional content should be focused on excitement surprise or anger not sadness example sad story of cancer teen finally comes to an end versus you won't believe this cancer teens last wish Rule number four, the mom rule. Don't sexualize or go for shock and awe. Use headlines that your mom would approve of. Example, Republicans turned off by size of Obama's package. Versus, Republicans reject Obama's new financial budget. And number five, don't be too clever. Clever headlines create ambiguity and leave people guessing about the relevancy of the topic, like telling a joke that someone didn't get. Example, two golfers in one threesome ace same hole. Versus, two golfers in same group each get a hole in one. And in closing, I'd like to quickly browse over some of these other great headline formulas that will help you come up with some great ideas. Headline number one, shrink your fat zones, lose seven pounds in seven days. This headline makes a promise, as all good headlines do, it promises that we will receive a benefit, and it promises that we will receive a desirable quantity of that benefit in a desirable time period. Headline number two, eight lies about sunscreen. Believe them at your own risk. This headline poses a threat. It gets us to take action because we feel as though we may be putting ourselves or those that we love at risk. It also implies that something we trust has misled us and it may be dangerous. Headline number three, Vegetarian Nation. Will these women change the way you eat? 
This headline works because, in a sneaky way, it demonstrates social proof and then asks a question. Social proof provides someone making a decision the reassurance that others are already doing what you are considering. The term nation at the beginning of the headline indicates that there's an enormous amount of people that are vegetarians. Yes, it is indeed a crafty use of social proof. Headline number four, the no pill pain remedy doctors now trust. This is a good headline formula if your audience is skeptical of the benefits of your, that your product provides. Your product might be new and unfamiliar to your audience or it may have received poor reviews in the past. Headline number five, vacation perils and pitfalls. Banish bed bugs, box strain, belly aches, and more. This is another threat headline. It makes a promise that if we read the article, we can avoid some of the awful things that can ruin a vacation. The headline also takes advantage of the idea that people will do more to avoid pain than to seek pleasure. Headline number six, beat the Sunday night blues, surprising ways to put the fun back into your weekend. The word surprising in this headline is critical because it communicates that these are not the ordinary suggestions we always hear about having fun on the weekend. These are new or at least new to us. And finally headline number seven, Terry Hatcher, her shocking struggle with secret pain. People like to hear juicy details about the people they admire and respect. This headline uses some very powerful words including shocking and secret. If we are even mildly interested in the person they are referencing, curiosity forces us to take a look. Okay, that's all I have for this video. And be sure to stay tuned for the next video which will be how to write articles in the inverted pyramid style.